All right, wish me luck. I'm about to give Jeremy my presentation. Oh, Jeremy, he's the worst boss ever. I know. Here goes nothing. Hey, Tim, do you have what I asked for? Yes, sir. I have it right here. I spent a lot of time thinking about it and actually came up with a slightly different concept. I hope you like it. What is this? No, 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 no! This is from my top client. They pay all of our bills. I can't present this. You know, this isn't what I asked for at all. Yes, sir, I know, but I thought that maybe... You thought. Your job isn't to think. Your job is to do as I tell you to do. Do you get it? Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Take this off my desk. You have until tomorrow to deliver new prints. Or you're fired. Tomorrow? But I've made dinner plans with my mother, sir. Well, you should probably get going then. Now, I have a thousand other things I could be doing. So chop chop, go! So? How'd it go? He hated it. It was a complete disaster. What? That's crazy! Bro, you're the most talented designer in this company. Everyone knows it. I know, but like Jeremy said, my job isn't to think. It's just to do what he asks of me. Look, Tim, I've never met a designer as talented as you. Maybe it's time you quit and start your own company. I mean, I would love to. It's my dream. But I couldn't do it on my own. I need him to be successful. No, 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 you got it all wrong. You don't need him to be successful. He needs you. Look, you're the one who's doing all the work, and he just gets all the credit for it. Well... <coughs> so the chatter going on in here, huh? Sorry, we were just talking about... Just talking? Do I pay you to talk? I didn't think so. Now get back to work. Tim had no other option but to stay up all night and finish the project. He reworked the design to what his boss originally wanted. After many hours, he finally finished and was ready to turn the project into his boss. Tim! Do you have the drawings like I asked? Hey, Jeremy. Yeah, I got them right here. I stayed up all night, but I got them done. Yes! Yes! This is exactly what I wanted. My client's gonna love me for this. They may even give me a bonus. Alright. Now, be a good little employee. Put this on my desk. I'm glad you like it. By the way, is that your car? Yeah, you like it? It's a 2019 Tesla. Spent a hundred thousand dollars on it. Wow. I dream to have an expensive car like that one day. Well, I'll tell you what. You keep working hard. Do as I tell you to do. And one day, I'll be able to buy two of those. Four <laughs> I thought you were going to say I'd be able to buy a car like that for myself one day. Uh, you. Buy a car like that. You're just an employee. Employees like you? They're a dime a dozen. You need me to be successful. You don't need him to be successful. He needs you. You know what? I don't need you to be successful. You need me. I am the one doing all the work and you're just taking all the credit. Hey, careful what you say before you get fired. Fired? You don't need to fire me because I quit. I'm going to start my own design company. Ha! You'll come crawling back when you fail! You need me! Don't forget it! Tim ends up quitting, so the boss had to find someone else to do his work. 
He gives the assignment to another employee and demands for him to complete it. The other employee wasn't tolerating the treatment either, so he ends up quitting. The boss no longer had anyone to do his work and had to do it himself. Meanwhile, Tim started perfecting his designs now that he could finally do what he really wanted. He completed his designs and was ready to pitch his ideas to a new client. The boss attempted to do the drawings on his own, but he knew it did not compare to Tim's designs. The top paying client finally came to see the work, so the boss showed him what he came up with. The client was so disappointed that he ended up firing the boss right then and there and pulling out of their multi-million dollar agreement. The client goes to a new design firm in town led by a very creative designer, none other than the talented Tim. Tim impresses the big client with his creative vision and gets the new deal. Without his top paying client, the boss starts to fall behind on some bills. The boss's career ends up going down while Tim's new design firm is going up. Then one day, they happen to run into each other. Jeremy? Tim? Is that you? I barely even recognize you. It's good to see you. How are things? Not doing so well. I just lost my biggest client to this new company, DM Designs. Oh, that's too bad. Is that your new car? Where's your Tesla? I had to sell it when I lost my client. Mm -hmm. Look at this car. You like it? I just picked it up. <laughs> Wait, this is your car? Yeah, it's a brand new Rolls Royce 2020. I spent over $300,000 on it. I don't understand. You're an employee. Well, actually, I ended up starting my own design company. It's called DM Designs. Now I've got a thousand other things I could be doing. It's good seeing you. So many people are stuck at jobs they don't love putting up with managers they don't even like. If you don't feel inspired going to work most days, here's a brutal truth. Maybe it's time to leave that job. Think about it. Most people spend about one third of their life working. Do you really want to spend one third of your life unhappy? A lot of people think that they may need a certain job or a certain boss in order to be successful. But the reality is, bosses need their employees just as much as their employees need their bosses, if not even more. So know your self-worth. Now I'm not saying it's bad to work for someone or for a great company. There's a lot of great companies and managers out there. All I'm saying is make sure you feel inspired and get treated right because life is too short to be doing something that you don't love. Hey, what's up Facebook fam, it's Dar. I hope you love that message. Now it's time for us to choose our giveaway winner. This video, we've got Margaret Morell, who just won $100 for sharing my last video. Anyone can enter my giveaways. All you have to do is click that share button. All the details are pinned at the top of my comments. And please be careful not to fall for one of these fake giveaways. I only announce my winners at the end of my videos. I will never send you a message, so please don't fall for it if you get a message saying that you won. Good luck to you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.